Hello everybody, my name is Joseph Kennedy and this is my last lecture. I was born December 29, 2002 in Torrance, California to my loving parents Lauren and David Kennedy. <laughs> my parents are some of the most loving and understanding people that I know. They always know what's best for me and how to help me. They both teach me very important life lessons that I've used every day throughout my 16 years of life. My dad always tells me that you only have so much fun time in your life, so you can use it all now when you're young or wait to use it when you're older. You decide when you want to use it. This means that like, I shouldn't only have fun and skip hard work when I'm young, but I have to like take time and study to better myself as a person, I at the same time. If I, <clears throat> if I spend my younger years just having fun and playing, I'll have to work so much harder like when I'm an adult. I fully stand by this because I feel that it's a very important lesson because I know that if I work hard and get good grades, then I'll thank myself in the long run. My mom is the most loving in the family. Whenever I have personal problems or anything, I just know I can talk to her. I seriously don't know what I would do without my mom. Between all the work she does around the house and being able to manage me and my brother, I don't know how she does it. I began playing soccer when I was 8 years old, and when I first stepped on the pitch, I instantly fell in love with the sport. When playing soccer, no game is like the last, because there's just so many factors that contribute to a game such as the field size, the opponents you're playing, or if you're just having a good day in general. That's why I love it. i played soccer for eight years now and I still enjoy it. I started out playing recreational soccer until I was about 12 years old, and then I realized I wanted to go to the next level of competition. So I joined the U12 Cyber Section team, so I could better and stronger and faster, and fuel my urge to compete. But that year, the same team, they decided to go to the even higher level which was club soccer, where you had to pay thousands of dollars just for a season. <laughs> Getting used to the high intensity level of club soccer was difficult at first, but I grinded to get better by spending countless hours trying to improve my speed and strength. I was probably like the youngest in the league because of my late birthday, so that I was added difficulty. But luckily, I'm taller than most people, since my dad is 6'5 and my mom is 5'8, so I guess I got lucky in that aspect. So there didn't seem to be that big of a gap in size. When I reached high school, I knew that I wanted to represent my school and play for my school. When tryouts came around, I was more prepared for all the hard conditioning because I knew that it was coming. And to prepare for that, I stayed in clubs for as long as I could. I learned that it's better to over prepare than to prepare too little, even if it costs you some free time. During my time playing club, I have met many friends, they're still some of my best friends that I've made in life. Sports are one of the greatest things you can get involved with because of all the skills you learn and how it can affect you positively. I try and surround myself with positive people that have good morals and just want to have fun. My friends always help me whenever I need it. Whether it's school related, sports, my social life, they always just try to help me. They help, they help shape me into who I am today. When I grow up, my dreams are to graduate college, get my master's degree. I think that my parents would also agree that that plan's in my best interest. <laughs> then, after I graduate, I plan to get a job that involves either financing or engineering because I just really enjoy both those. My parents also try to keep my focus toward those types of jobs that have good career paths. I'm constantly having to adjust and balance the ratio between having fun and getting a good education. One day, I will be able to do both, hopefully. When I get a really good job, maybe even start my own business so I can be my own boss and I'll make lots of money. <laughs> my goal, wherever life takes me, whatever dreams I can accomplish, is to enjoy life as much as possible because I only get one. I wanna live life to the fullest. My name is Joseph Kennedy and thank you for listening to my last lecture.